Hi, welcome back. Looking and feeling our best goes hand in hand when it comes to aesthetic treatments and plastic surgery. So you want to go to somebody that's credible and knowledgeable. Today I have Dr. Uris Bunkus of Orange County Plastic Surgery with us to tell us our options. Welcome, Dr. Bunkus. Good morning. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Well, welcome back to the show. How are things going? Very well, thank you. You said you've been busy. Very busy work-wise, very busy in my diplomat role. I've had a very, very busy couple of months. Very good. Well, we're going to talk a little bit about some of those things, but first let's introduce uh, the community to your education. What are some of the things that you've done? Oh gosh, I finished medical school in Canada at the University of Toronto. I went down to New York to Columbia University and I did five years of general surgery. And I followed that with um, uh, two years at Harvard University in plastic surgery. And I probably learned more than anything once I finished. And I went to University of California, San Francisco to teach. Uh, there's a lot more pressure as a teacher than as a student because you have to know all the answers and I just kept on studying while I was teaching. Right. Well, and then the students are probably asking you questions where you have to, oh yes, I know the answer to that, right? Absolutely. <laughs> and then what about some of the experiences that you had? So once you graduated, then what did you end up doing after that? I taught at University of California, San Francisco full time right. for a number of years and in 1983 I went into private practice and I've been in private practice since 1983. Okay, and is that all only in Orange County or other areas? No, I was up in the Bay Area for 20 years, and um, I came down to Orange County in 2001 okay. uh, because my son was a very good little baseball player, <laughs> and it was recommended by some coaches that he go to high school in Orange County, and that's why we moved. Oh, very good, and you and you enjoy it here in Orange County? Very much so. I'm not leaving. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good to hear. Uh, let's talk a little bit about your practice that you have in Newport Beach. And I think you also, do you have other locations? I have a location in Northern California in the Bay Area as well. All right. And I see patients there once every six weeks or so, but uh, m most of my work is down here in Orange County. And we have a picture of, of your facility in Newport, and that's located off of what street again? It's on Birch Street, uh, about a block from the airport to the junction of MacArthur and Birch. And, and tell me a little about some of the services that you provide. We have a physician's assistant, uh, Crystal Osborne, very, very great little gal. She does a lot of our laser work, our IPLs, our injectables, and I do those as well if somebody wishes to have them. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a two-tiered price, uh, pricing scheme where it's a little cheaper with Crystal, and a lot of patients uh, prefer to go to see her. Okay. Uh, but uh, my end of it is mainly the surgery part, mm -hmm. and we offer a full gamut of aesthetic type procedures, everything from face, eyes, ears, nose, breasts, and tummies. Okay, and we have a picture up now where, why don't you tell me some of the things that you did here? Well, this is a 46-year-old lady who had her operation for free, because it's my wife. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see uh, she has the typical signs of aging where she gets heavier in the bottom part of her face and underneath her chin. And uh, we lifted that up and uh, transformed her face from kind of a pear shape to a V shape. Mm. And the only other thing I did for her is I raised her eyebrows a little bit. Um, I raised them two or three millimeters because when she was younger, that's where her brows were. Hmm. And uh, I have a picture in my office of my wife when she was 23 years old, another one where she's 60. And uh, the contour of her face looks very, very similar. Obviously, think, the skin texture. I think we actually have oh, that do? photo. Oh, there, there we it go. is. I didn't know you had it. But that's her at 23, and that's her at 60. That's amazing. And you can see that the contour is very, very similar. She looks like the same person. Well, you know, and that's and, and on the picture before, when you look at from the side, you can really tell the difference in, in the lower part of the face, like you said. Yes. Like here, right in here, you see the, the what is it, the jowl area? Is that what you yeah, call that? Yeah, this is the jowl neck? area. Oh, okay. and that, that's the submantle or under okay. the chin area. Okay. But it makes a such a difference in distinction there. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. Very good. Let's maybe look at the next slide. Oh, a gentleman. This is a gentleman who was 76 years old and uh, worked as an insurance broker and told me that he was losing business because he thought he felt old. And uh, we did his eyes and his uh, face neck. And you can see these pictures are taken three weeks after surgery. Wow. Um, if you look at that after picture on the side, the incision still looks a little pink around his ear. Mm -hmm. But I put this picture in just to show how quickly you can return to normal functioning and so forth. And um, this guy's business really picked up after he had this done. And part of it is I think when you look better, you feel better about exactly. yourself. Right. And you have a positive attitude yourself and you just get more done. Well, exactly. And the eyes makes a huge difference. He looks super tired yes. in the one and then he looks all bright eyed and ready to go. Yep. Excellent. 
I like that. Oh, this is quite a transformation. When you do a lift, and on her I did a facelift and I did her eyes and a brow lift, but when you do a lift, you do not change the texture of your face. Uh, so what I did for her in addition uh, was a full face laser just to remove the wrinkles. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, the before picture, she was 79 years old. The after picture, she was 81. And uh, quite a transformation. So tell me about the lift. What do you mean the lift is different? A facelift, you make an oh, I'm yeah. So, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, a facelift, you make an incision around the ear. Okay. And you lift the skin up and you reattach the muscles higher up where they used to be when you were younger okay. to reestablish that V-shaped neck to right. take away the fullness from the jowls. Okay. And when I put the skin back, I never pulled the skin tight because half the women that you see around here at South Coast Plaza, they look done. And I don't like a done look, you know. I just put the skin back, remove the excess, but I don't pull the skin tight. Right. Well, it's also a nice way to you know, grow old gracefully yes. without, without looking done, like you said. Uh, you said you did a laser on her. What kind of laser was that? A CO2 laser. Okay. Uh, there are many different types of lasers, and they vary by how deeply they penetrate. Mm -hmm. And if someone has very few fine lines, then uh, you can use one of the lighter lasers, like a fractional laser. Okay. But when your lines are this deep, you have to go deeper in order to remove them. If someone just wanted to have a laser alone, what would be the downtime for that? Um, much more than a facelift. Uh, laser, really? you're raw for about 10 days, okay. and afterwards you're very, very pink, and that pinkness can take about six months to go. It's oh. a prolonged recovery, whereas most patients who've had a facelift two weeks later, they're back to their usual activities, and <laughs> the downtime is much less, but they treat completely different things. One right. treats texture, and one, uh, one treats shape and sagging and so forth. Okay. All right. Well, I like I like to show the difference. I think that's great. Um, now, do we have any more slides? I wasn't sure if there was any more after that. I think uh, well, we're still on the one gal, so no no worries there. Uh, let's talk about some of the events that you have coming up. I know you've got one in March and in May. Yes, uh, our March event is uh, based on breasts, uh, breast enlargements, breast reductions, breast lifts, and so forth. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's our springtime event. That's kind of the time of year when people. Uh, start thinking about their bikinis and getting <laughs> breasts done and we are having a special uh, price wise that evening and we're also giving away a pair of breast implants that evening. Wow. Um, so that's going to be our March event and in May we have one uh, uh, connected with Mother's Day and that's going to have a female theme. We're going to talk about non-surgical uh, fat reduction with our new sculpture uh, laser. Uh, we're going to talk about Thermiva, which is a radiofrequency vaginal rejuvenation, mm -hmm. and the usual things like Botox and the fillers and all the things that moms like to get. Well, that's going to be our <laughs> theme for May. Well, they both sound really nice. And oh, the, the, the fact you're giving away stuff is amazing. Those, that's, a, that's a pretty good prize. It brings people in. Nice. And then if people have additional, want diff, additional information or want to know about that, they can go ahead and go to your website. That's correct. Our website is orangecountyplasticsurgery.com. Wonderful. Well, thank you for being with us. I really appreciate it. And if you guys want to know anything more about what Dr. Eurospunkus does, uh, go ahead and go to their website. We'll be right back after this.